Turnitin updated its AI detection feature and according to the update, Turnitin says that we have enhanced our AI writing detection capabilities to detect the likely use of leading AI bypasser tools. These tools attempt to modify AI generated text to appear more human like with the goal of avoiding detection by AI writing detectors. So the purpose of this update is to detect the text which have been humanized with AI humanizers and this is a challenging for all those who are relying to use AI tools for writing for paraphrasing or for making it more academic for any purpose if you are using AI tools then definitely your content get AI plagiarized and this is a major problem to tackle. so in this video I'm going to show you some case studies that how AI detection feature of Turnitin is working, how you can use these AI tools smartly and which AI tool is still working to bypass this AI detector updates by Turnitin. So stay tuned. I'm going to use three different type of samples to check the authenticity of AI detection feature of Turnitin. The first sample is written by ChatGPT. We are 100% sure that this content which have been written with the free version of ChatGPT always show AI plagiarism in Turnitin. So we are going to use this document as a reference document and will humanize it by using the recommended tool for AI humanizing. I'm going to paste it in Google Docs and going to save it in the folder. The second file I'm going to use as a reference is the file which have been initially generated with the help of AI tools and then we humanize it by using our manual efforts. Now the tool which I'm going to recommend you for AI humanizing is the Hicks Bypass. Why I'm recommending this tool? The major reason is its ability to humanize your AI written content in a way that it can be used in an, any academic document with the minor changes. And the second most important reason is that it provides you four different modes which helps you to get customized results according to the need of your requirement. You can use fast, balanced, aggressive, latest. All of these four features are going to provide you very much professional and the results which you can use in your academic document. But again, there are two modes which I suggest to you but again when we talk about its latest mode its latest mode provide you very much professional and academic rephrase document but problem with the rephrase document of this mode is that now Turnitin AI feature is detecting it this content failed to bypass AI detection of Turnitin and I'm going to take this AI humanized document as a reference to check the potential of updated version of AI plagiarism feature of Turnitin. The second mode which is a balanced is a very much compatible with the latest and you can use it to bypass AI plagiarism and it's working very efficiently with the updated mode of AI plagiarism detector of Turnitin. The results you will get are very much professional and can be used in any academic document with the minimum modifications. I'm going to copy it and going to make another file with the content which have been rephrased with the help of fixed bypass by using its balanced mode. Beautiful thing about all these modes is this, you can rephrase the content multiple times and multiple results in one go. Now I'm going to upload all these files on Turnitin and We'll check the AI and plagiarism and we'll make a comparison between the reports to take you more closer to the decision of selection of a right tool for AI humanizing to bypass AI from your AI written content. The content which we will get with the help of AI paraphrasing have a 0% plagiarism and when we check the report of a document which have been rephrased manually and it shows us 68% AI plagiarism in our content and all of the plagiarism is coming under the category of AI generated content only and the content which have been rephrased by the latest mode of fixed bypass is showing 0% plagiarism and 55% AI plagiarism which is again a big number in this small document it means almost 50% of the document has been detected and in the content which have been rephrased with the 
help of a balanced mode of fixed bypass, you can see that only 22% of AI plagiarism has been detected. And if we are able to reduce it to 2% and we'll take it to 20%, then it will be allowed in any kind of academic document as Turnitin will consider it a star percent and it's acceptable. Now, if you don't have Turnitin access, then you can use zero GPT to check the report of AI plagiarism in your document as a report zero GPT providers is very much compatible with the report of Turnitin. I'm going to copy the content which I rephrased with the help of Higgs bypass balance mode and I'm going to paste it in zero GPT and when I press on detect test then in a few seconds I will be able to get the AI plagiarism report and this is about 23% which is very much related to the report which we get with the help of Turnitin AI plagiarism detector feature. So Higgs bypass balanced version is working more efficiently because it's not damaging the structure of the information you are rephrasing. It also helping you to remove AI and plagiarism from your content by paraphrasing and rewriting it properly. You can access the tool with discount code from the link available in the description. If you are still feeling stuck of humanizing your AI written content and you are looking for professional assistance, you can ask in the comment section or for details, you can visit our website. The link is available below. If you found it useful, don't forget to share it with others and to subscribe this channel for more updates. I will see you in another video. Then take it yourself. Bye-bye.